Hello and welcome back. In the last lesson, we learned about comparison operators. In this lesson, we are going to learn about handling the opposite of something that is true. So for instance, if we have a script that asks for my name and it says, hey, if my name is Caleb, welcome me. What if my name is not Caleb? What if you're asking for a course and it is not JavaScript for beginners? Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's say var, let's just call it input, is equal to prompt. What course are you taking? And then we could say with an if statement, if input dot to lowercase is equal to JavaScript for beginners. And that just makes sure that it doesn't matter if there's uh, a capital letter or no capital letter in there. Let's make this smaller. Curly braces. And then we could say, you know, do something in here. And so we're familiar with this already. In fact, we could actually clean this up too. We could say uh, input lower, let's just call it that. Var input lower is equal to, and we'll just create a new variable called input lower. And that just matches this one here. But what if the course is not JavaScript for beginners? What if you're taking another course of mine called JavaScript Essentials? Well, you need to be able to handle that. In fact, what if, what if someone types in anything that is not this? Well, you need an else statement. So if something else, do something else. And really it boils down to something like this. You can sort of read this like a sentence too. Let's make some space here. And you could say, you know, if the course is JavaScript for beginners, do a thing. Otherwise, or else, do something else. And in fact, this is interesting because if we said this, this is Python. This is Python syntax. And so by learning JavaScript syntax, you're already somewhat familiar with Python syntax. So now your skills in Python or your skills in JavaScript rather are actually paying off because you're learning how to apply logic in other languages. It just looks a little different, but yeah, this is how it works. And so you can actually read this as a sentence. If course is JavaScript for beginners, do something. But if it's not, do something else. That's all it is. And so the world of programming is really just made up of if else statements. It's a bunch of if statements, else statements, and a hybrid of both called an if else or an else if, depending on your language. So if this is JavaScript for beginners, let's add, add a welcome message. And if it's not, let's say you're in the wrong course. Well, we need something to do here. So let's say h1, let's give this a name of text, an ID of text. And we need to grab a node here. So let's grab this node var text is equal to document dot get element by ID text. And then let's say text dot inner HTML is equal to uh, let's do strong welcome slash strong to JavaScript for let's do another strong beginners. And so now we're writing some HTML inside of our JavaScript. And what if it's not right? Well, we could do this and just copy that because I don't want to write all of it over again. And we could just say, you're in the wrong course. And watch this. What course are you taking? Okay, well, let's say I'm taking another course that I have called JavaScript Essentials. Yeah, it says I'm in the wrong course because we're not in JavaScript Essentials. In fact, the one that I'm in is JavaScript for, and let's really mess this up. Let's put it all in capital letters or the last word is gonna be capital letters, JavaScript for beginners. Welcome to JavaScript for beginners. And if we view our source here, we doesn't actually, it doesn't really look like it's bold, but it is. We've got a strong element there, we've got a strong element here, and regular text in here. So there we go. And that is how you do an if else statement. So basically you're saying, hey, if this is true, if we are in fact in JavaScript for beginners, execute this. Otherwise, doesn't really matter what the answer is, we're saying any other answer in the world, execute this line. So go ahead, give that a shot. You're going to need to know how to do this for our mini project that is coming up. You're definitely going to need to know how to do an if else statement. 
And at this point in time, if you get stuck with this, don't forget you can always leave a question down below. I am always here to help.